Every city has secrets, and the fictional Tokyo Pleasure District of Kamurocho has more than its fair share. Its streets are a home to criminals of all stripes, from lowly punks to powerful gangsters. Behind its doors, you can find shops and arcades, massage parlors and illegal casinos, hot springs, and hostess clubs. Yakuza 4 follows in the footsteps of its predecessors, weaving a soap opera tale of honor and betrayal with simple but satisfying brawling action. But whereas Kazuma Kiryu carried the earlier games entirely on his own gloriously tattooed back, Yakuza 4 features four terrific playable characters whose distinct personalities and interwoven tales make for the series' most engaging story yet. Yakuza 4 introduces Taiga Saijima, a man who has served 25 years in prison for murder. There's also Masayoshi Tanamura, a complex corrupt cop who operates according to his own moral code. The best of the new protagonists is Shun Akiyama, a loan shark who charges no interest and who helps those nobody else will. His charming swagger and expressive nature make him a refreshing departure from the other, more serious heroes. Yakuza 4 spends a lot of time telling its story. So much, in fact, that at times you'll long for an end to the chit-chat so that you can get back to actually playing the game. It doesn't help that a great deal of the story is advanced through voiceless cutscenes, in which characters use canned animations to express themselves. By contrast, the fully voiced and animated cutscenes are great, full of cinematic flair and energized by the excellent Japanese voice acting. The story is full of betrayals and stunning revelations, and the heightened soap opera quality of the emotions that run through this tale make it a compelling one. <laughs> <laughs> Brawling is at Yakuza 4's core, and like the story, this aspect is also better for being shared among four heroes. Each has his own fighting style. Akiyama relies on kicks that defy gravity, Sejima is a hard-hitting bruiser, Tanamura excels at parrying enemy attacks, and Kiryu is the most well-rounded of the bunch. As you run around the streets of Kamurocho, you're constantly accosted by Yakuza, street punks, and other troublemakers, all of whom attack you on the flimsiest of pretexts. Making them regret this decision is a lot of fun, thanks to the responsive controls and the ease with which you can string together devastating combos. The battles look great, too. Filling up a special meter lets you pull off powerful moves called heat attacks. As you perform these, the camera often shifts to emphasize the brutal impact of your actions. As much fun as the brawling is, it wouldn't be enough to sustain this game across its lengthy running time. But Yakuza 4 is positively bursting with other things to do. Kamurocho offers amusements for people of all ages. There's bowling, batting cages and billiards. You can try to win toys using the UFO catcher at Club Sega, or play an arcade shooter and upload your scores to online leaderboards. You can gamble at the pachinko parlor or visit a secret casino where you can try your luck at a number of games, including blackjack, baccarat, roulette, and Texas Hold'em. If you're seeking pleasures that are more adult in nature, Kamurocho has those too, though they often end up being absurd rather than mature. Visiting the hot springs involves playing table tennis against a female opponent. To perform the smashes that are the key to scoring, your character needs to build up his heat gauge, which he does by focusing intently on his opponent's breasts. The massage parlor minigame is equally silly. Here, a masseuse whispers sexy nothings as you tap buttons and rotate thumbsticks in an attempt to receive maximum relaxation from the massage. As silly as these activities are, they help make Kamurocho feel like a pleasure district that caters to desires of all kinds. It also feels like a living neighborhood, full of stories and secrets, thanks to the optional side quests you frequently come across. These range from the light-hearted, like helping a nerd develop a sense of style so he can have better luck with the ladies, to the more serious, like assisting a woman who's being stalked by her dangerously unstable ex-boyfriend. Most memorable of all are the revelations you sometimes discover. These are ludicrous incidents that your character can observe by completing quick-time events, learning new techniques in the process. They're amusing, absurd, and perfectly in keeping with the exaggerated nature of the entire game. On its own, no one element of the game would be remarkable, but combined and buoyed by the juicy story and the excellent cast, they make Yakuza 4 more than the sum of its parts. If you want more info, the text review goes into a lot more detail, but the bottom line is this. If you have an appetite for over-the-top action and intense emotion, you can find satisfaction on the streets of Kamurocho. 
Ah! 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 Ah!